Joshua! What nonsense! Imagine the F-1 train! What rot! This is something I cannot take! Rubbish! DK! DK, can you see it now? Huh? Can you imagine this? My daughter just called me! She went to her husband's office and the secretary slapped her! She slapped her! Look at the kind of disrespect that our daughter is enduring because she won't let me go there and set things straight! She just brought me here to sit down with you doing nothing! The secretary slapped her. That's what she told me! She slapped her! If I know my daughter very well, I would think that she's the first to slap her. I recall the secretary went to the house the other day and your daughter slapped her. I would think that the secretary avenged for the slap she got. Probably that's why she returned it with another slap. Oh my God, I don't want them to say that I'm being disrespectful. If not, I'll ask you if you're really a man. Because a real man will pick up his phone and call that boy we call a son-in-law and put him in his place. At this point, I feel so sorry for that young man because the greatest mistake he has made in his life is to marry my daughter. And at this rate, he might lose his mind. And I will not let that happen. Really supporting him. You are supporting him at the expense of your own flesh and blood. Your daughter! I am for the truth, woman. Meaning what? Woman? He might be my son in law, but he's like a son to me. And I will do everything in my capacity to protect him, even over my daughter. And if this marriage is going to make him lose his sanity, I will personally end it myself. I would rather be the father of a divorcee than be the father of a murderer. sitting outside and why are these bruises on your face? Who am I in this house? What kind of question is that? No, it's sounding very stupid to you, right? Who am I to you, Mark, in this house? You're my wife. Then why am I your wife seated in my house and your hopeless, useless, stupid, disrespectful brother brought his girlfriend into my house to attack me? What are you trying to say? Stop saying in ignorance! You know what I mean? I am telling you that Ben brought his girlfriend here to beat me up. Wait. That is not possible. Ben cannot do something stupid like that. It's not possible now. Oh, I see. I see I'm the stupid one. I am very, very stupid. That is why you married me. If I was not stupid, your family would not have the temerity to gang up against me. I see that I'm very stupid. And I see also that you're encouraging them to do it. What are you even driving at? What are you saying? Exactly what it means. Because if you're not encouraging your family to maltreat me, to disregard me, to disrespect me, they will not still remain in this house. You always come to me and pretend that you support me, you love me. But then you will go behind me and support your family members. If you're not encouraging them and put Ben in his place, that your disrespectful brother will not have the right to raise his hand and hit me in my house. Ben did not hit you. You said he, that it was his girlfriend that hit you. Ben, did, ben can't hit you. Potato, potato, what is the difference if he hit me or his girlfriend did it? If you had put him in his place, 
His girlfriend will not do it. Besides, he brought that idiot into my house. That is why she had the confidence, the audacity to raise her hand and attack me in my own home. For this reason, she will go and retaliate. <laughs> what? You heard me. <laughs> you will go in there right now and give your brother two resounding dirty slaps on my account. I'm not going to touch him before everybody will come for me and say, Oh, Vivian, you are beating your brother in law. You are... I will not do that. If my dignity, my self respect means anything to you in this house, you will go there now and hit your brother. You are taking this thing too far. It hasn't got into this level. Are you going to do it or not? But, but you know I've had a bad day. You know I've had a bad day. You know you came to the office and. That display that you did messed me up. And now I'm coming home to find peace and you're telling me to go slap my brother. If you had put your brother in his place from the beginning, Ben will not have the temerity. He will not have the effrontery to raise his hand and slap me in my house. Will you go in there right now and retaliate on my behalf? Or I should pack my things and leave this house. Rubbish. This is your new idea of hitting me randomly at will whenever you like. When did it start? See, in case let me let me remind you, in case you have forgotten. We were born the same year. You are only a few months older than me. Eight months is not eight days. I am still your older brother. So, why did you hit me? Why did you bring your girlfriend to come and insult my wife in my house? Did you ask what happened? Did you ask what she did before you, before you raised your hand to hit me? We didn't hit each other here. That, that is where the problem is. That is where the problem is. I would have been hitting you so that you have sense. Because it, 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 it's obvious you don't have sense. If I was hitting you, but no, I don't touch you. I only pamper you. That's why you bring your little girlfriend to come into this house and insult my wife. You pamper me? You hit me because of your wife. You over and over and over again. It's okay. It's fine. If this is what you want, it's fine. Well, like you said, you are older than me and I respect you so much. Even for that respect I have for you, you will not try this rubbish you did now. You wouldn't. And if hitting me makes you happy, if it makes you sleep well at night, if it gives you peace of mind, then it's fine. Thank you. Thank you, big bro. Thank you.
just two slaps. Only two slaps that your brother gave to you. And you're already tamed. <laughs> Impressive. If I had known that just two slaps could do this to you, I would have done it a long time ago. What's the meaning of this? What do you want, Vivian? He's asking what I want. I have not gotten what I want. The question is, will you even be here to ask me this stupid question when I get what I want? So, I want to ask you a question. I know you might sound dumb, but I'll ask you regardless. As you have poured this drink on me now, what did you gain? Satisfaction. What form of satisfaction is that? As you pour this drink on me, what you just did, my thing is satisfaction. What you just did was reveal your true self. Show me who you truly are. That's your gutter self. Your disgusting, irritating, annoying, senseless self is what you have just exhibited. Nothing else. So disrespectful. Who do you think? You have to speak of me in this manner. I know I'm a nobody. No, I am nobody. But you see this nobody you're seeing right here is the same nobody that's giving you sleepless nights. Because if I am nobody, I don't see any reason why you should be out here at this time of the night. You should have been sleeping, but you can't sleep. That's to show you that I am more important than you think. Because if I was not important, you'd be sleeping by this time of the night and not being here looking for who to taunt. So you're just pushing your luck? You are the one who have pushed your luck too far. You think by making my brother hit me today, you have achieved victory? Oh, you have succeeded, right? Oh, yes. You have made him do what you want, hit me. But you know one thing I will not do? I will not hit my brother back. Because he's my brother. And I know him so well. Whatever it is he has done today was to please you. He might have done it because of you. But you see, one thing you cannot kill is the love he has in his heart for his family. And that is one thing you can never relate to. I will kill it. I will destroy it. I will tear it into shreds. Try. No, struggle. Do it. I want to see you do it. I want to see you try and destroy it. You think I don't know the kind of person you are? That's my happiness. My happiness is the fact that I know you. My sister knows you. My mother knows you. They see right through you. My brother might not see you. And he might, out of love, do the things he does for you. But you see this family that you want to destroy? You have to come prepared. Come with a chisel and a hammer because you will hit and hit so hard but you will not succeed. You see this energy you are channeling into destroying this family? If you can channel that energy to the right place, channel it to your life, to your family, to love, maybe you can be successful. Not try to destroy a family that you clearly cannot destroy, no matter how hard you try. Good thing is, I see right through you. My sister sees right through you. My mother sees right through you. So no matter how hard you try, you can't succeed. You may have my brother where you want him because he's in love with you. But no matter what you do, we are not going to leave our brother. We will be there for him. You can do your worst. You dare me to do my worst? Yes! <laughs> the question is, can you stand it? I have gone through worse in my life. So bring it on. 